Good morning everyone. So today I will be talking about the avocado tree or the flowers of the avocado. Um, so there's something I want to share. If you do a quick search, uh, just Google, you know, avocado AB chart or avocado flowering type, you'll see that there is an A and a B type of flower. All that means is when will, you know, that avocado variety uh, flower um, or bloom. So I want to look at the top one real quick. At this one, you'll see that the type A, the female flower will bloom in the morning, but then once, you know, the after afternoon comes, uh, that female flower will no longer be open for business and you know, it'll be day two when the flower is back up and running. But in day two, um, you'll see that it the flower won't be active in the morning. It will now be active in the afternoon, but it will now be a male flower. So that male flower will be um, open for business to, you know, hand out or give out the pollen to the female flowers. So now if you look at the bottom, the type v, B variety, uh, it's somewhat the opposite. The female flower will still bloom first, but instead of blooming in the morning, it will bloom in the afternoon. And if you look at the male, or sorry, if you look at day two, you'll see that that male variety uh, will bloom in the morning instead of the afternoon. So I don't know if it's, you know, the change of seasons, the temperature, uh, humidity, you name it, you know, that causes uh, the flowers to say, hey, it's time for us to bloom. Uh, but the A variety and the B, var B variety, they do bloom at opposite times. So some trees, let me come this way. So I have this one right here. So this is a Mexicola. And where is it? Where is it? Right here at the bottom, it says pollination requirements. Self-pollinating, this plant will bear fruit without another variety. So even though it says it will bear fruit by itself, um, I guess it can bear fruit or will, but if you have different varieties of avocados, you'll increase your chances of, you know, having fruit on your avocado. So about two to four years ago, uh, there was like this heat wave and it did I don't want to say kill but it damaged my tree a lot um, to the point where I was having second thoughts on cutting it because there was a lot of damage on it so what ended up happening was I had to chop it down and you know I cut it down in half and then that's when I decided that I wanted to graft onto the avocado so what I did um, Let's come this way. I grafted a different variety. This is a uh, Fuerte Avocado. And on this side, just a little tag I have. It's a oh, Mexicola. So the Mexicola, I you know, grafted a piece onto this one. And you can see it took. Same thing with this one. This one over here, same thing, Mexicola. But on this side, I have a Pinkerton. So this is a Pinkerton avocado. Um, and then up here, same thing. I did a different variety to attach it. And Zutano. All right, so my goal is to keep grafting more varieties onto it this was a failed attempt as you can see right here and right here um, it didn't take so the more varieties i have on it i guess the greater chance of the flowers that will get pollinated and you know it'll increase my chances of giving fruit so hopefully you understood the you know type a type b because uh, it can get pretty confusing um, 
Oh, really quick. If you look at this bottom one, I think it's UC Riverside. They have this cool, the cool chart, or this chart that makes a bit more sense. If you look at uh, the type A avocado and the type B avocado, you'll see that when you have an A and a B together, the male and the female, they bloom or blossom, whatever you wanna call it, uh, pretty much around the same time. Because when you have the, the female from type A and the male from a type B, they're you know in the morning and then vice versa. When the type A uh, male blooms and the type B female blooms, they both bloom in the afternoon. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's about it. Thanks everyone.